if you saw me walking down the street holding on to my companion's hand, you wouldn't know the horror I endured in my youth. You wouldn't know that I lived in the Lodz ghetto in Poland. You wouldn't know that I was transported to Auschwitz concentration camp and survived a death march. After the war, I immigrated to the United States and lived a decent life. My story might have ended there. But as I aged, I began to show symptoms of dementia. For a Holocaust survivor, this means I frequently relive painful childhood experiences as if they just happened. Furthermore, I dread being transferred into institutionalized care because this will trigger past traumas. I am just one of the nearly 45,000 survivors who live in New York City, with nearly 20,000 living at or below the poverty line. The bleak reality of these numbers is distressing. Holocaust survivors who worked and made a good living are now finding themselves fighting to make ends meet in their older years. Living in New York City is difficult for any senior citizen, but especially for survivors who require more care as the trials of their younger years show alarming effects with age. Common conditions related to aging also take a harder toll on survivors. Many are dealing with complex bone and dental issues that are the result of severe prolonged malnutrition. Alzheimer's disease, dementia, depression, anxiety, and other mental health issues are exacerbated because memories revert back to the Holocaust. Thankfully, a family member connected me with the largest provider of comprehensive services to Holocaust survivors in North America. I was assigned a social worker who provided home care and helped me secure Medicaid benefits. With all this, I am able to receive the care I need to be able to stay safely and comfortably in my own home. Now, what about the other 44,999?